Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance. In this video, we're going to go over the custom query option for your loop elements in Breakdance. To get started, you'll need a loop element added to the page, such as the post loop builder or the post lists element. Then navigate to the query option in the properties panel, select custom query and click edit query. This will open the Query Builder pop-up, which you can use to customize your query. For the first source option, we have Post Types. This is where you can select the different posts you would like to include within the query. You can choose one post type or multiple. Next, we have the Related Source. This is where you can include post types based on a taxonomy. This will include both default WordPress taxonomies and custom taxonomies. Finally, we have the ACF relationship field, which is where you can populate a loop based on an ACF relationship field. After you've selected your source, you can change the amount of posts that will show on each page and in the query altogether. The settings for amount will change based on the source you've selected. The first setting for amount is post per page. If you change the value, you will see that it updates in Breakdance. The second option is the total posts. This controls how many posts display across all the pages of your query. So if you have six posts per page and you have a total of 18 posts, that means you will have three pages worth of content. The next option is offset. Offset determines how many posts are skipped. So if you have an offset of two, your first two posts are going to be skipped and then the query will start with the third post. Next, we have conditions. Conditions allow you to filter the posts within the loop. So if you only want posts from a specific taxonomy, you can do that here. You can also filter based on date or other options. Let's now look at the meta query settings. Here you can choose to add a new query to filter your results based on custom fields. In this example, if I do all posts that are equal to three days, we'll see that the post list updates. You can also perform more advanced queries such as nested meta queries. The last area is the order by section. This is where you can choose to order your posts by certain fields, such as date, title, modified dates, comment counts, menu order, random, and you can also order by advanced custom fields and meta box fields. There's also an option to filter out by date. So if you only wanted posts in the past day or the past month or the past year, this is where you would do that. And the last option is to ignore the current post. This is useful if you have a related posts area and you want to ignore the current post within the loop. 